we're going to be looking at how to find missing values when you're given the mean. Let's read this example that we have here on our screen. It says, on her last three tests, Sarah has scored a 92%, 86%, and an 89%. What does she need to score on her fourth test to have a mean test score of 90? So she has taken three tests so far. She's gotten a 92, she's gotten an 86, she's gotten an 89, and then she's going to be taking a fourth test. And that fourth test, I don't know, but I do know that I want the mean of all four of these tests to be 90%. Okay, so let's think about this for a second. The first thing that we need to figure out is what do all of these test scores have to add up to equal? So if we think about this, if I add 92, 86, 89, and something to find the mean of that set of four numbers, I would add these four up. I would divide it by four, and theoretically, I would get 90. So why don't I work backwards and think, okay, so the sum of the test scores would be whatever my mean is times the one, two, three, four numbers that I have. 90 times four is equal to 360. So all four of my values have to add up to equal 360. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to figure out. Take the quantity of numbers that you have, even though we don't know one of them, I have four numbers, multiply your mean by the number that you have. So I do 90 times four, get 360. Okay, so that means that 92 plus 86 plus 89 plus something, I'm just gonna call it X, needs to equal 360. So let's just treat this like an equation, right? Let's let's combine some like terms here and figure out, okay, what is X? What does X need to be? Why don't I add the scores that I have? When I add these three values up here, here, and here, I would have 267 plus X equals 360. And then this is just a nice, simple one-step equation. I would subtract 267 from both sides. That would give me my final answer for X and X would equal, in this case, 93. Okay, so that means that Sarah needs to get a 93% on her fourth test to make the mean of her test scores 90%. So basically we have done two things. We have multiplied right here. We have multiplied the mean times the amount of numbers we have. And then we have subtracted Right here, we have subtracted the sum of the test she already has from this 360. Okay, so she needs to get a 93% on her fourth test.